Offsets are an important component of coordinated signal systems. An offset is the time difference between the common reference point in coordinated phases at adjacent signalized intersections. So essentially, in simple terms, we're just looking at the time difference between two inter signalized intersections that are in a coordinated signal system. For instance, you'd need to know the offset between A and B in this example and the offset between A and C to coordinate this signal system. As an example, we're asked to determine the offset for an intersection, which is Main Street at Oak Avenue, which is 800 feet downstream from the reference intersection, Main Street at Pine Avenue, as part of a coordinated signal system. And we're asked to develop this for three scenarios. One with a moving platoon, and this means that as they approach this signalized intersection, that platoon of vehicles is moving. Number two is a standing platoon, so the vehicles are stopped at our intersection. And number three, that 10 vehicles are queued at that downstream intersection at Oak Avenue. We're also asked to determine the cycle length for good progression in both directions. Main Street is a two-lane road, and a study of the traffic on this roadway found that the average travel speed is 45 miles per hour, an average discharge headway of 2.4 seconds, and a startup loss time of two seconds. So starting with our moving platoon, the offset is equal to the distance between those upstream and downstream signals divided by the travel speed between the off upstream and downstream intersection. And so our offset is equal to that distance divided by the travel speed, so 800 feet divided by 45 miles per hour. And in order to convert that to feet per second, we multiply by 1.467 and that's gonna give us an offset of 12.12 seconds. For our standing platoon, we have a very similar equation. Now we're just gonna add that startup loss time because the platoon is now not moving, so we need, to we need to take into consideration that startup loss time. We were given that value of two seconds, so we're gonna add that to our part to our equation. So now it's two seconds plus our distance divided by the travel speed, which is going to give us 14.12 seconds. So this is our third scenario. We've got 10 vehicles queued at Oak Avenue. And since we have these vehicles already at Oak Avenue, we need to clear those before we release the vehicles from that upstream intersection at Pine. So we're going to, we've got our equation here. We're going to start with our distance divided by the speed. So that's the d sub zero over v and then we're going to subtract off the parameters based on the q that's already at oak avenue and so we have for our first component 800 feet divided by 45 miles per hour multiplied by 1.467 again that 1.467 is just the conversion factor we're dealing with feet and miles per hour so that's helping us with that conversion and then we're going to subtract off our number of vehicles 10 vehicles it's only a single lane, so that's, with it being one lane, it's per lane, that's the 10 vehicles. If it was 10 vehicles split over two lanes, that may be only five vehicles per lane. So in this case, we're keeping the 10 vehicles, and we're gonna multiply that by our, uh, by our given discharge headway of 2.4 seconds, so 10 times 2.4, and then we're gonna add another given, that was our startup loss time of two seconds. And so that comes in at negative 13.88 seconds. Uh, that sounds a little odd, right? So we're going to have our Oak Avenue signal is actually going to start 13.88, almost 14 seconds before the signal at Pine Avenue. And that's based on, again, on that distance, the speed, and that existing standing queue at Oak Avenue. So we want that queue at Oak Avenue to clear. And so this time, the 13.88 seconds, before Pine means that the queue is gonna clear at Oak Avenue, and then just in time for our platoon coming from Pine Avenue is gonna reach and travel through on green at this intersection. And our final equation here is looking at the cycle length for ideal two-way progression. And it's a similar type of equation we used before. The um, theoretical value for that ideal cycle length is two times the travel distance divided by the travel speed. In this example, 
800 feet divided by our 45 miles per hour converted to feet per second by multiplying by 1.467 multiplied by 2 it's only going to give us 24.24 seconds so this would be really a theoretical value because this cycle length would be too short in all practical terms because of your lost time um, and just to, to process the vehicle. So what this tells us is that we're not going to have ideal two-way progression because we're not going to have a cycle length that's as short as 24 seconds likely uh, in, in any scenario. So uh, this is a calculation we can do, but likely it's, it's not going to function well at this intersection.